to today's video, 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 video. I think I've gone a little quarantine crazy being up in the house for what, like, are we going on 60 days? I don't even know where we're at in the timeline, but it feels like literally forever. But today I wanted to share with you guys my Boxy Charm Premium Box for the month of May. I'm gonna try on all the products in here, or at least most of the products. I already did take a look-see because I needed to know what makeup I needed to apply um, that wasn't included in the box. So as you can see, I do have my complexion on and I did do brows because there is nothing complexion or brows in the box. And if you guys like what you see in this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. It does help my channel a lot. Being a micro tiny channel, uh, it does help with the algorithm. So if you guys wanna give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And if you also like these types of videos and other types of beauty related content, fashion and even home design, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will catch all of my upcoming videos. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and break open into this box here. Super excited to see what came in this month's premium subscription box. The theme of this month's box is Mother Nature. Obviously, Mother's Day just happened last weekend along with my birthday, you guys. I had a quarantine birthday, but I will say it was a really nice birthday. I had, I got a lot of love, you guys. I got a lot of love my friends, from my friends, from my family. It was really nice. So I felt, um, I felt like, you know, the quarantine birthday situation wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, being as though I didn't expect anything, to be quite honest. But anyways, enough about that. So let's go ahead and see what is included in this box here. So the first thing that I'm seeing is this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Longwear Gilded Bronzer. So this is the bronzer here. I've used a lot of the Too Faced face products. I really do love their face products. I love their setting powders, I love their bronzers. Um, I've tried a few of their highlighters, which I really like. So I am excited to get this. It smells so good, you guys. It smells like chocolate, which is no surprise because Too Faced always does that with their products. They always attribute a scent with the packaging or the theme of the product itself. And so I am gonna be trying this on today. Too Faced Bronzer, it retails for $30. Um, by the way, if you guys are not familiar with the premium subscription, it is a tier above the base subscription. So the base subscription is $25 a month. The premium subscription is $35 a month. With the base subscription, you're supposed to be guaranteed a value of at least $125. And with the premium, you are to expect at least $175 value. So we'll see, I'll add this card up and we'll see where we get to with the contents of the box. All right, so the next item that I see here is from Pure Heels. I think that's what it is. Pure Heels by Nature, Nature Village. It is the Centella 90 Ampule, and I gotta read this because I've never heard of this product before. So this says it's a soothing ampule which contains Centella Asiatica extract. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Um, but it relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin barrier. Okay, so this guy retails for $28. It also says on the card here, which is not on the back of the package here, it says that the serum contains Ceramide 3, which helps strengthen damaged skin's moisture barrier and keeps the skin clear from external environmental damage. So I think that that is really cool. I do have a ton of skincare that I'm trying to work through right now. So this is not something that I'm gonna try today. I might uh, try it later and report back to you if I really like it or maybe if I really don't, but I'll let you know at a later date uh, what I thought about this product. So moving along, I see a box from Baddington. And as I open it up, ooh, these are really pretty. I see two really beautiful brushes, gold. You know, your girl over here likes gold, as you can see by my background. I really love gold. Everything on my vanity and in my office is gold, basically, in black and white and pink. Really pretty brush set, and the bristles feel really nice and soft. I do think that these are synthetic, 
And this is a powder and contour brush set. So I would assume this is for the powder and this is for a contour. And you guys, the value of these brushes for two. I'm holding two, right? Not more than two. For two brushes is $90. So I don't know. I don't know about that. They feel nice and weighty. They do feel really nice. But $90, you guys, for two brushes, that's $45 a brush. That is bonkers. So I don't know, you guys. I mean, I would definitely not ever spend $90 on my own for two brushes unless they were like the best brushes in the entire world. And these feel nice, but I don't know about them being the, be the best brushes. I don't even know if they were the best brushes. Would I ever spend that? I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't think I would. But 90 bucks for two brushes. So that's expensive. Uh, and I don't know if they're doing that because they have to increase the value of the box to make you feel like you're getting, you know, a big bang for your buck or to increase the value so it meets that $175 threshold. I don't know, but that's expensive. So let's see what else came in the box. See a mascara from Kevin Aquan. This is the Expert Mascara, which has a weightless formula that's buildable and leaves lashes their fullest and while being soft to the touch. I am working through like two or three mascaras right now and I know I said I'm gonna do a try on at the end and I will, but I don't think I'm gonna try this on just yet because I have lash extensions. I also have three different mascaras that I need to work down, but this does retail $29, so that is really good. If you guys have actually tried this mascara before, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I'd like to know. So then the next item that I see is from Milk Cosmetics. Medics. This is Itsy Bitsy Teeny Tiny. I don't know. Is this full size? I don't know. It looks so, so small. But this is the glow oil and for lips and cheeks. Okay. This is in the color Astro. I haven't tried any of, I haven't really tried a whole lot of Milk's products actually now that I think about it. I think I've tried their foundation stick, which I really did like. And that's about it. So, I don't know. Let's try this on today and see how it goes. This is the component here. It just looks really small. What can I get so I can compare it for you guys? I want to get something. I'm going to get a lipstick. So, here is a ABH Anastasia lipstick. And here is the Milk Cosmetics. That's really tiny. So, it's smaller than your average lipstick, bear that in mind. Um, but the color does look really pretty. It's like a raspberry with a gold shimmer to it. So I'm really interested to see what this does on the skin and on the lips and on the cheeks. And the very last item in here is a item from Tarte. This is their Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. I love me a good lip conditioner, a good lip butter. I have my favorite, which is from Laneige. It is the best thing ever. I've talked about it on my favorites video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will put that in the description box below if you wanna see all my yummy favorites and my products that I cannot live without. But I am all about having a spare or a new brand to try out. Oh my gosh, you guys, the, the little component, the container inside is so cute so cute it looks like a little flower i love that that is really cute for on your desk or your vanity um it does smell like vanilla i'm gonna try this uh first okay it feels really good it feels a little bit i want to say waxy not super waxy but there's definitely some sort of a wax within it um it's giving me that waxy texture which isn't bad it wax is is good to um to help to seal in the moisture inside of your lips so that's really nice this retails for 12 dollars. so oh and i forgot to mention the i forgot to mention the milk makeup retails for 15 so those two items are really really low value and then we have the baddington 
brushes for $90. So that's why I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking that they're doing something with, you know, maybe in having a product in there that is like really gonna boost the value of the box because they have to make up for the fact that these two items are, you know, 30 bucks, which is two items out of the six that you get. So just something to consider, but let's see what the entire value is. So the value of the box is just a few bucks shy of $200. Now, if you take out of the equation the $90 brush set, then you're about half that, right? So mm, I think I like most everything, if not everything that came in the box. I can't say that I don't like it. I think the box contains some really nice items, but for a premium box, I don't know. Did I feel, yeah, I guess I did feel like this was pretty premium. Last month, I didn't do a video for my unboxing for April, but my premium box was a bit disappointing. I have to say, I kind of felt a little cheated. Like, I felt like the items in the base box were actually better than premium. Like, there were better brands that I knew and that I liked. So, this month definitely did change that for me, and I do like everything. So, let's go ahead and try everything on. Also, you guys, I am having... um my base box delivered tomorrow. In fact, I have two base boxes. So I'm gonna do a video comparing two different variations of the base box. So if you guys are into checking that video out, just definitely you know, look forward to that video will be coming probably by Friday, um, assuming that the box does get delivered tomorrow and then I can compare the two for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use these $90 brushes, because <laughs> I better use them, I better use them. 90 bucks, those are pretty, it's a pretty brush though. I will say it's $90, but it, it's a pretty brush, it really is. So I'm gonna go ahead into the Chocolate Soleil and I want to go ahead and use this as my bronzer. So this has more of a cool undertone. This is a little bit deeper, but I actually really like it. It does have a lot of like gold reflex in it. Um, it's not super glittery, but it's definitely got a gold shine to it which I don't know yet how I'm feeling about that. I mean, it is kind of pretty, but you know, I kind of like it actually. I'm not mad at it. I didn't know at first if I was gonna like that, but I'm not mad at it. I think it is pretty. Do the top of the forehead. Oh, I think I actually really like it on the top of the forehead. Yeah, I think I'm actually really liking it on uh, on the top of the forehead especially. It gives you that little like hit of shine but not looking glittery or overwhelming like a true highlight might look. I think I like it. Okay, this is a good one. I want to use the milk Okay, so just to show you what it looks like here. I'm kinda nervous to actually apply this and like stamp it on my cheeks because I don't want it to just sit in one spot or be overwhelming. Oh my gosh, okay. So as I apply it to my finger, it does sheer down a lot. It's really, really, really pretty, okay. Oh wow, it's a lot, a lot lighter than I was expecting. So with products like this, I do get concerned that it's going to interfere with my complexion makeup because it is an oil and sometimes oils can break down other makeup products. If I'm just really careful with it, maybe maybe we'll be okay. Uh, I'm starting to see my concealer and powder kind of deteriorate around it. So yeah, I don't know if this is the best product if you want to apply this on top of other face products. This might be something really pretty if you're doing like a really light makeup day or if you're using like another type of an oil um, foundation that is more oil-based than anything else like water-based. You're just doing like really minimal makeup and you just wanna add just a little dewy glow on your cheeks. I could see this being really, really nice. I mean, it does look pretty, but I do see like right here where it's kind of blending away my other makeup and making it crack and look kind of strange. So let me see if I can fix that. Oh, 
Okay, so since I didn't get a lip product, I might as well put this on my lips too. And in that case, I'm going to go straight in with it. Okay. Now for lips, I love this. It's really pretty. And it feels really, really conditioning on the lips. On top of this, of course, then it's even like I'm getting a double dose of, of moisture on my lips. But yeah, so I think if I were to use this, I would use this more for like a natural flush if I'm not going to wear any makeup at all and I just want a little flush on my cheeks. But I would definitely more use this for a lip product. So that's basically it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and throw me some comments below if you guys liked what you saw if you got your box in the mail and tell me what you guys thought all right you guys i love you guys so so much i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are all safe and i will catch you guys on the next video bye Mwah.